Hey YouTube, W. Thomas here from the Coin Alley, and today I'm going to talk to you about ERC20 tokens. Are you currently holding multiple ERC20 tokens? Would you like to keep them all on one convenient platform? Stay tuned to find out how to do just that. So what are ERC20 tokens? I'm glad you asked. Here are a list of examples of some ERC20 tokens. Some of the popular tokens are Augur, Gnosis, Monaco, and Gollum, just to name a few. So Ethereum wanted to create an ecosystem where everything worked together seamlessly as part of its vision for a world computer. And that includes the token required to power it. So launched in 2014 by a band of coders and an upstart teenager, Ethereum was designed to make it possible for anyone to code nearly any type of app and deploy that on a blockchain. Many of these decentralized apps or dApps for short needed their own token that could, among other things, be sold and traded easily. At the end, nearly 18 months ago, the, the ERC-20 token standard was born. So that's basically ERC token in a nutshell. But basically you wanna know exactly what are the purpose of these tokens. So, as they relate to the Ethereum network, tokens are digital assets that can be used to represent anything from uh, loyalty points to vouchers, IOUs, to actual objects in the physical world. And tokens can also be tools such as in-game items for interacting with other smart contracts. But simply, a token is nothing more than a smart contract running on top of the Ethereum blockchain. As such, it is a set of codes or function with an associated database. The code describes the behavior of the token and the database is basically a table with rows and columns tracking who owns how many tokens. So in this example today, I have two tokens that I'll be working with. I'll be working with Monaco and Gollum. And I'll show you how to secure your tokens all on one platform. And I'll be using my Ethereum wallet today. And I secure my Ethereum wallet with my Trezor. So if you've used my Ethereum wallet, you may have noticed that there's a section called tokens, right? And you can set it up if you have the values or if you're using one of the existing tokens, then all you would need to do is send that token to your existing Ethereum address. Now I would always start off by sending one token just to ensure um, that it all goes well or a fraction of the token and as you can see here I do have uh, some tokens already I have uh, MCO which is Monaco and I'll be transferring over Gollum and uh, some additional Monaco tokens all right so let's begin so I'll grab my Ethereum wallet address and I'm going to send over uh, Gollum and since I know that this actually works I'm just going to go ahead and send them all at once but if you're doing this on your end 
I would definitely recommend um, trying out um, one token or, or a fraction of a token to ensure that you don't lose any of your coins. All right, so I'm going to send 26 Gollum from Bitrix over to my Ethereum wallet for safe storage. And let me grab my authentication code here. And I've sent my withdrawal request. And it should say authorize. Says authorize, but it went on its way. All right, so we'll go to my Ethereum wallet and we'll refresh and we'll see if the token has arrived as yet into my Ethereum wallet. Okay, seem to have logged me out possibly. Let's log back in. Select my primary wallet. And here you go. I have my Gollum token right here inside of my Ethereum wallet. Now, if you were going to send these tokens, uh, you could do this all from my Ethereum wallet, just by going to send Ether and tokens. You would authenticate with your private keys or your wallet or hardware wallet, whatever you are currently using. And then there's an, there's an easy drop down box, and I'll show it to you here shortly on how you can designate um, which tokens you would like to work with. Either you're sending Ether or you're sending um, your ERC20 tokens. All right, so if I was going to send tokens or Ether or what have you, I would enter the to address here, the amount that I'm going to send, and then there's a drop down over here. And you want to designate what it is that you're sending. Are you sending Monaco tokens or am I sending Gollum tokens? Or are you just sending regular Ethereum? So you would want to make that designation prior to sending your transaction. All right, so let's go back to Bitrix, and then I'm going to send the rest of my Monaco tokens. Withdraw. Got my address there, my Ethereum address, and I'm going to be sending of my Monaco tokens and let's authenticate. So we're sending 21.358 and so on and so forth of the Monaco tokens and that authorized. And then shortly, once this has processed, it'll show up in my Ethereum wallet. Hmm. 
Now this also works with MetaMask and also with Mist. Um, I haven't gone through those processes, but um, I found my Ethereum wallet to be much, uh, much more easier to work with. So that is the the portal that I use when I'm working with my Ether or any of my um, ERC20 tokens. All right, so once this processes, I will continue and then I'll show you that it's in my um, in my um, my ether wallet and my balance here should update let's go back and refresh all right guys so the transaction has been processed let's go back here We'll refresh. And we'll check to see if our tokens are now showing up in our balance. And while we're waiting for that to refresh, I hope you find this information to be of uh, value and is very useful. If you do find it to be useful, by all means, please click the like button. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to definitely leave those down in the comments section. And here we go. The additional MCO or Monaco tokens that I sent have arrived. All right, guys, until our next video, take care and peace.